Yo guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we are here at this uh, little stream. Uh, we're here in a cabin and we got all of our fishing stuff set up. And uh, we are gonna be filming a couple vlogs. Yeah. And yeah, so we're gonna, there's up. a bunch of trout. There's a couple different ponds that we're gonna hit up. We're gonna go pond hopping probably tomorrow. And then we're gonna set out some jugs later today. Uh, we brought our kayak right down there the bright green one yeah and then we're gonna hit a couple different just creeks up and yeah so let's get on with it all right jared is in the water he's got his waders on and he's got a fly noah has a live worm on right now and then i'm going to be setting up two rods that are just going to sit with live worms for now so the first one i just have this small hook right here tiny hook Touch a little leader or the little weight, and then it's gonna be. I'm gonna use this uh, rod holder and then just a night crawler. I'm gonna be throwing it right there, and then we're gonna do that same thing with this rod. And then I have a little fly rod, and yeah, so we'll get back with you once we got everything set up. Just got this rod set up, uh, it's just kind of in this pocket, has a nice size night crawler on it, and then two little weights on it. And uh, I look over, and Jared caught one on this fly. Oh man. We gonna take a look. Jared got one. Wild rainbow, baby. What's up? So and uh, look outside, and Noah's hooked up. Noah is hooked up. Go! There we go. Nice. <laughs> Good stuff, Noah. What was that on? That was on the uh, little rooster tail. Yep, a little spinner. A little spinner bait. Good stuff. That's a nice one. No. Water seems a little bit calmer, and then there's Jared and Noah, and then yeah, just a lot more water. Alright, so there's Noah kind of far, and there's the bridge I was just on. And I still got this little same beetle spin. There's a few ponds just right here. And then the stream runs uh, all the way up and down, like where we just were. We have like a little runway. Oh, I'm hooked up, I think. I think I'm hooked up. Oh, I am. I'm hooked up. Decent bass. Decent bass. Not bad. Wow. That's pretty good. Pretty good, like not even 10 casts. Look, barely hooked on this uh, little beetle spin. Pretty good sized bass. Uh, first fish for me of the trip. There we go. On the beetle spin. Beautiful fish. Not too big. Just under a pound, I would say. Can let him go. 
started right back in where he came from. Oh, got another one. Oh, this one's much smaller. Second bass in this lake though. Much, much, much smaller. Oh man. Oh, sorry buddy. Poor guy. It's gonna be alright. Much smaller, cost McDonald's because I got quarter pounders. Tiny little guy. On the beetle spin again. This guy is tiny. Thank you for biting. See ya. Oh, hooked up. Oh, there we go. That's a decent one. It's a spot. Look at a spotted bass. There we go. Biggest one of the trip so far. A dark spotted bass, I think. Maybe it's just a dark largemouth. Man. This one's got great colors. Another one. Third one on the beetle spin. Look like you've been attacked by like a bird or something. Number three for me. All within like the same like 10 minutes of just a little beetle spin in this pond. Let this guy go. See ya. Got one hooked up. Oh, a bluegill? What? A bluegill. That's different. Oh, this is... It's a green sunfish, I think. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but... Pretty sure that's a green sunfish. I don't think it's a pumpkin seed. And it's definitely not a rock bass, obviously. But um there we go, it's another one to add to the species. Just oh man, sorry about that. Okay, let's get you back in the water. It's a beautiful fish. Oh, there's a bunch of fry right here. Scooped it. Oh, oh man. Another little bluegill. Little green sunfish. This one would actually be pretty decent bait. Yeah, I'm not really sure what the exact name of it is called. I get that lighting better. Not sure of the exact name. Oh, came right off. But fish number five for me. All within like 15 minutes of fishing at this pond. Got that blue. Let him go. Not the best release, but at least we made it to the water. He's got to get it this time. Got him. There we go. Oh, there's a bluegill, that's why. I was wondering why I kept missing them. Usually bass will chomp it, but these guys have smaller mouth. Yeah, this is just a normal little bluegill. Look at that color. It's got like a cool dot on his dorsal fin. Oh, I just missed one again. I keep missing them. That one felt a little bit bigger than the other one, though. I don't know. Guess we're gonna find out. Got him. We're hooked up. Ah, oh, it's another bluegill. Dang it. That's okay. Pumpkin seed. Might be a warmouth. No, that's a pumpkin. I don't even know. 
I don't really know my panfish that well. He's got a big mouth though. Look, I can get my whole thumb on him. Do that. Pretty nice size. Get back in there. Jared just hooked up. So yeah, that's the pond I was fishing in. Right there, and then yeah. It's literally right here, it's a stream. Hold it up! Hold it up! He got a tiny little trout. All right, we got the kayak. Got to walk it across the creek and uh, get it to the pond that's on the other side. Got the kayak right there. Now I gotta go get our tackle. All right, we got all of us out here and then we got the kayaks all set up and then we got a bunch of different just bait and stuff and we're gonna get in the water and catch as many bass as we can. No, it just got hooked up on the uh, soft plastic worm, I believe. Oh, hang on. Oh, I was hooked up. I got bit. Hey, watch your phone, watch your phone. Watch your phone. There we go. Oh, shoot. Oh, my goodness. He is bleeding. Yes. No, he's going to let his bass go. Just got a bass on the whopper plopper. Uh, I switched baits off camera. And, uh, got this guy. Not a bad one. Pretty good. Let him go. Get back in there. Oh, mine just got bit. It's like the same one as the last one. Same exact one. Oh, maybe a little bigger, actually. Yeah, it's definitely bigger. Yeah. It's a nice one. There he is. Pretty good size one. Not bad. Uh, he got hooked, though, in the gill, and he's starting to bleed, so... Can we get him back in the water? He's just up. Wow. There you go. Alright guys, we're gonna get the kayak out now. We got a couple lines. This one is a crawfish, just to a bottle. This one has a little head of a fish, to a bottle. And these two have live worms on it. We're gonna set out a couple lines and check them in the morning. Now your hand, I said. Now your hand. <laughs> <laughs>